Hello, also in last video we saw how can we deploy the SSRS report. Now in this video we will see how can we apply aggregation in our SSRS report. So before creating the actual report what we will do, we will first analyze the data. So this is my report query. So basically I pulled this query from this employee info data set and I will execute that and I will export this entire data set into Excel and I will create a pivot report on that and we'll try to replicate that pivot report in SSRS. So this is my data set and I will go to data tab, pivot, create. Okay, now in this pivot table, we'll group every entire thing by, uh, we'll group it first by country, then state, city, and finally, uh, let's pull name, email, uh, higher date, department, and at last, job ID. And for aggregation, we'll keep salary. Okay, we'll not group anything at column level. Okay, I will click OK. Now, if I scroll down here, so this is my report. Now, this exact same report will try to replicate in uh, SSRS. Okay, so if I go back to my VM, and let me go to SSDT. So this is my existing report. We'll not touch this report. What we'll do is I will copy this report again and I will rename that to underscore aggregate. All right. And we'll import this report. So I will go back here, reports, right click, add existing item because we copied that. I will import this guy. Okay, I don't know, I don't need this anymore. I will close this and let's open this aggregated report. Okay, now uh, as you can see here in Excel, so we are supposed to replicate this report and this report starts with country, state, city order. All right, so let me delete these columns first because these needs to be, uh, we have to add at very beginning. delete columns, delete column, okay. Now, if I simply add this uh, country column before this, let's see, okay, and if I go to preview, see, this is not helping. It's not getting uh, grouped by, by country. We are supposed to group by. What, what it means is, it's repeat, these values are repeating. So, if it is grouped, it should show only one, all right? So what we'll do is here, I will delete this guy again. Okay, and over here, you can see two columns, row, uh, row grouping and column grouping. This is exactly same what you see here in pivot. So if I right click, row grouping and column grouping, and this is the aggregation function. I'm, I'm in measurable attribute. So here we can add some some sal sum of salary or maybe if you want you can change this to count of salary okay now so the way we have added it here similar way we'll add it over here now if i right click here now as you can see there is one entry here but it says detail group so it is not grouped so my table is not grouped right now uh, and we can prove that i will prove that so if i here and add group and if i say child group it will error out because there is no parent group exists Okay, so very first thing which we have to do is we have to add a parent group and what would be the parent group? So if I go back, my parent group is supposed to be country. Okay, so I will go back here, right click, add group, parent group and I will select country name here, click OK and after country name, state and city. Okay, so I will go back and now we have to add a child group for this country. So child group state so i will let me rename this i don't need, need all caps i will simply keep C O U N T R Y country and this guy i will change it to state let me change the width of that column perfect and the final is city again child group and i will select city here Okay, 
now if we compare this thing this hierarchy against this in this case we have added all the columns over here in a row grouping however we do not have to do that in the case of ssrs reason being for the granularity or uniqueness of our, of our data set is at employee level okay so even if you add it it will not make any difference so we'll keep these values as is over here these three hierarchy and remaining things will keep at detail level okay i will i will tell you what i meant so i have added a grouping at these three levels and remaining things i have kept at detail level there is no grouping for other columns only one more thing this salary is supposed to be at very end this is a salary column so i will replicate that i will delete this department column from here i will add a column at left and department perfect all right now i don't need this id column as well i will delete this guy perfect let's export it okay and i will right click excel copy this excel and let's compare close this guy and so let's compare with this okay so it looks exactly same only thing is this aggregated aggregation part the total sum of entire data set is missing here okay so it's very easy so what we can do is uh, let me go back and we have to add the sum on grouping so i will go back to design i will right click here simply and add total okay and i will say add it after go to preview you don't see a total here because we added at very beginning topmost grouping at country level so if i go and if i go to next very end it says 379 okay let's let's export it uh, what i will do go to preview i will first close this guy and excel copy copy paste replace okay Seven nine. Only thing is this data set is not matching. Now why is that? Let me filter this data. I will remove the null. Three seven nine. Okay, it's exactly matching. We'll just simply format it. We'll also do one thing. So this entire this total is for entire data set. We'll add a subtotal for individual states as well or maybe individual city country as well so now let's say we do not know how much is the salary for entire usa or canada or germany so we'll add uh, subtotal at country level let's not add at state level let's add at country level so i'll close this guy I'll keep this one and i will go back to my sstt and go to design and let's add at country or uh, state level so it has to be at subtotal after so now this will give me the total at country level so i will close this go to preview okay so this is entire canada country entire germany entire uk and we're supposed to see yes uh, let me go. okay so this is for usa perfect 
and let's format it a bit so i will go here make it bold bold and maybe foreground color let's change it to white can I change the background color of it <coughs> so perfect and I will change the background color for this guy as well let me check this one perfect now if I exp yeah it looks pretty neat Perfect. Okay, now let's export this guy. Excel. Copy and replace. Okay. Now this all looks perfect but my another requirement is my manager wants to see this data set by country so thing is i get to see entire all the country data into single tab so the requirement is my manager wants to see this data into a different tab so like for canada one tab for germany another tab for uk and usa different tab so the data should display in individual tab so that is also very easy what we can do is i will write go back here go to design and right click on your uh, country uh, because we want to show that data by country the tabs the excel tabs supposed to be based on country name so that's why right click on that country grouping group properties and there is something called page break here simply select between each instance of a group so add a page break so divide or create a pages based on that grouping okay so basically since we are doing that on country name we should get that grouping by country so we can see immediately now in the preview see i can see only canada right now in the second page germany uk usa perfect so let's export it and verify and i will copy it again perfect see this is all expected okay but still there is an issue thing is yeah even though the data got divided in different tab based on country it doesn't have a tab names so see it's these are the default tab names now how can we change that so what we can do let's google it ssrs excel tab name just search it and very first result set which you will see so we have added that uh, between each uh, grouping or page break between each group it got divided but now we are looking for a tab name so what we have to do is right click and go to the grouping okay for that particular column go to the grouping tab and you over there you will see the page name so let's do that i will close this guy and design okay and here we supposed to see or maybe just right click a b c d f why that grouping is not showing up or maybe yeah click on this grouping we supposed to yeah grouping and page name so this is the option just select on expression and 
remember this name is coming from the field so i will select that field and country name save preview in preview will not come to know so i will export it excel perfect see so this is what we were expecting and we should see so this is the subtotal for usa united states three four uh, three three four four thousand yeah three four four and this is the total for entire data set and we also got that data set in each tab in x in each excel tab with particular uh, name in that for that tab all right so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video